most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I can't. What is up, you two? It is Julius Moss, the founder of Julius Mono Team, and today I'm bringing you guys another C3 tutorials video. This one's going to be how to transfer files from your computer to your PS3 without using a flash drive, such as like modded, modded files like avatars, modded comments, eboots, um, anti ban eboots, or just eboots for like debug, um, SPRX mod menus, or hard drive mod menus, or like just stuff like that, or you know, sometimes. Platinums as well. Um, this is very simple to do. It's not really hard. Once you get the hang of it, it'll be pretty fast and easy. So the things you're gonna need for this video tutorial is is a laptop or a computer, and a Joe and PS3. It's a matter what, what firmware you're on. You're gonna need to download in the, in the description the FileZilla client. And you're gonna be using this. This is the program that we're gonna be using to transfer files from our computer to our PS3. Um, if I can get my guy to to show up, I'll probably transfer the file and show you guys that it works. Um, but as of now, we're just going to go in depth. So, pretty much what FileZilla is, is it's a program that's used for transferring files from a computer to a different computer, or in this case, we're going to be using a jailbroken PS3. Now, you can't be both W and do this. You must be a jailbroken PS3 in order to use this file. But this program works for transferring files, like such as, you know, as I said earlier, drop by comment below, so I just take a transfer as well. You're gonna need a download multi man because you're gonna, like, gonna be using this to follows from our PR to our multi man. So, if you don't have multi man, which I'm sure you guys would already have that if you're Joe but if you just start out mining and watching my series and my tutorial series, um, I'll link that as well as the description of a safe link for multi man as well as follow so I never give virus links, so don't worry about that. I always give safe links. Alright guys, so what you're gonna wanna do first is you're gonna wanna get follows though, like I said, and once you get follows though, you wanna just go ahead and load that up. It'll look something like this. In this case, once you actually do do the setup for it and you get through the setup, um, it might actually for like some new newer versions, just you know, download these newer versions, you can save them all. You don't have to get the newer versions, but if you want to you can. But like once you do the setup and stuff, this in the background is what it'll look like in the background. It'll be like this actual program, like you'll have like desktop, my documents, and all that stuff. Wait for this right here to get done and then I'll go in depth about the program and its features. Alright. Okay. So it's gonna load back up FileZilla. All right. So this is what it look like once you get on FileZilla. It'll be like this. What you're gonna wanna do now, guys, is on your PS3, you're gonna wanna sign out of PSN. And once you sign out of PSN, you wanna go straight into your multi-man. And you're also gonna need a Ethernet cable cord, which that's kind of like a cord that you use for like your computer or your router. It comes with one. Uh, if you don't have Ethernet cord, I can link a link to where you can order one or places where you can buy them. They're pretty cheap, actually, not really expensive. Since sometimes you can even find them at like you know, I mean, garbage can. Like you know, like, like they're not really useful anymore. But I mean, they're only useful for people that really need them. In this case, you're gonna need an Ethernet cord for this tutorial. So yeah, um, you don't want to take Ethernet cord. You're gonna hook it up in the back of your PS3. You're gonna put one of the ends into the back of your PS3 in the Ethernet slot. And once you've done that, you want to put the other end of the Ethernet cord into your laptop or your computer. Once you've done that, you successfully did that part. That part's done. So if you didn't hear it the first time, what you're going to do is you want to put the first Ethernet cord, one end, and it doesn't matter which end it is, you want to put one end in the back of your PS3 and the other end into your computer or laptop. And once you've done that, that part is done. You got the setup for it. And what you want to do next is once you're in multi man and you've done the cord part, you want to head over to where it says um, settings and you want to go to system information. This is only if you don't know what your PSR IP is. If you don't know what your PSR IP is, you can check it by going to Reboot Toolbox or, like I said, the multi man settings on the system settings and multi man. You can see your IP address. 
this is very important because you must type this in order for it to follow Zelda to, to connect properly to your PS3. Alright, so once you've done that, you want to go to where it says host. Host is where you're going to put in your IP. So my IP is 192.168.1.7. Username and password and port do not matter. You can put something if you want to, but in this case, you want to put your IP for sure. And then click where it says quick connect. Click on that. And then you see right here, it says connect successfully. And then down here, you'll see where it's your multi man files. Or in this case, it's um, all of these. You'll have all these files. And if you're on Rebug, you'll have a little Rebug tab too. But you can access all your files and you can go to like dev underscore zero, you can access your games, you can access your saved data, you can see like packages, trophies, you can access your SPRX stuff, all your files in here. It's just like, it's, it's kind of like a more like, not really complicated way, but it's something like if you don't have like a flash drive, like you, you lost one or it broke, you can use files to transfer files, this is just something that you can do that's pretty like, it's pretty fast and easy. But I'm just going to be transferring a, um, an anti bandy boot for Black Ops 2 Zombies and show you guys that it works. Um, so, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get like an e boot or an S Power X menu. And then, in S Power X mod menu, you wanna go to where it says um, dev hgd.0, open that up, and then put your S Power X file in the TMP area. And once you've done that, um, put your e boot where game is at so whatever game it was for you would go towards the game and then go to that region in this case I'm doing just an anti bandy boot so I'm just doing BO2 so you want to find your game region you save in this case I'm doing BO2 so BO2 right here if you're not really sure what game it is you can click on the game and then choose the icon thing and drag it out and follow Zilla and just make like a copy of it see right here is to make sure that's the right game yeah it's BO2 there's BO2 so that was the right game save right there I don't know why it's quite like that for me. but once you've done that you want to go back into FileZilla and in FileZilla you're going to want to go to where it says USR DIR and then scroll down just a little bit where it's the and you're going to want to do your placement so I have any food, which is series and if this helped you guys out show me support and i will see you guys in my next video peace